So today we're going to be showing you how to remove individual eyelash extensions for your fill appointments. The key thing to always remember is to have one tweezer secure the natural lash in place and the other tweezer removes the extension. So this is the way that I like to remove volume fans by peeling off each extension individually like so. I find that this way works best for fans that have more glue or fans that are attached more securely to the natural lash. Make sure to always peel in a downwards motion so that the extension can gradually detach from the natural lash. It's important to hold the natural lash closer to where the volume fan is attached to it. Peeling off individually gives you more control, however it does take a little bit more time just because you are removing one extension at a time. So instead of peeling each individual eyelash off, you can also try doing it in batches. You can decide whether to peel individual lashes off or batches based on how much resistance you feel when you're tugging the lash. The less resistance there is, you can peel off more at once, and the more resistance it is, you can peel off less at once. So with the banana peel method, where you peel the entire volume fan off from the natural lash, as you're peeling, always adjust the tweezer closer to where the glue is because this prevents damage of the natural lash and gives you more control. And with this fan, we're just going to use the crushing method, which is to add pressure to the base of the fan, basically crushing it until the bond breaks. Then the fan just simply pops off and it can be removed super easily. Another removal method is by holding the natural lash at the base and wiggling off the volume fan. This method works best with fans with less glue. One thing to always remember when you're removing lashes is to first find the natural lash and make sure that you secure it very close to where the bond is. So closer to the base, the better. And here's an example of how you would remove volume fans that are attached on the bottom of the natural lash using the banana peel method. Gently peel them apart and always make sure to grip them closer to where the glue is. And as you can tell already that every single lash removal is always different. You're going to have to figure out which method to use depending on how much glue is attached to the lash, how the lash was bonded, and the direction that it was placed. So always make sure that you adjust your removal method based on each fan. So just always use your best judgment to see what removal method works best for the volume fan that you're working with. I always use a variety of methods. Sometimes you can remove the fans in one go, but other times it's just better to remove them each individually like this. <laughs> 